Everyone, welcome to our uh, uh, children's musical here, Acorns to Oaks. And uh, we're excited about being able to come out here and just have the kiddos come and, and uh, the choir, the children's choir, uh, perform this for us today. I just got finished with talking with them, and they're very excited to be able to do this. When I asked them, uh, do you know why you're doing this? And they said, yes! I said, are you an acorn or an oak? And they told me they were saplings, okay? You'll get it later on, okay? And so, um, but they're really excited. They recognize that they just want to, uh, to do this, uh, to, to bring glory to God is what they, what they told me. And uh, I think that with all the rehearsal and practice and everything like that, they're gonna give us a very wonderful treat this afternoon. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start us off in prayer and then I'm going to turn the time over to Reverend Fong. And uh, as uh, custom at all our Cornerstone <laughs> musicals, you don't just come to watch the children perform. You get a chance to be a participant in it too. So we'll sing some songs uh, before they even come out, okay? So let's join our hearts in prayer and let's just commit this time to the Lord, okay? Let's do that. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you that you have gathered us here this afternoon. We thank you for the beautiful weather that we have. We're excited about all that's gone on to, into this uh, musical, Acorns to Oaks, and, and how the children are all excited, and they're um, just so happy to be able to sing and, and to perform this way, Lord. We thank you that you have given them uh, hearts that are filled and overflowing with joy, and that they can share that with us and encourage us and brighten our day today as well, Lord. I pray that as we meet together now, that this would be for your glory, that all that takes place in here, Lord, would reflect your goodness in our lives. Thanks for being good to us and gathering us here today. Bless our time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Are you guys warm? Is it hot in here? Yes. You can take off your jacket. <laughs> You can take off your, uh, your sweaters and all that stuff, okay? Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. We're going to start singing. I picked three songs that are from the musical. <laughs> Thanks. Okay, the song is called This Is My Father's World, all right? Uh, how many know this song? That's what I thought. Okay, we'll be singing the first verse probably a few times. Okay, here we go. Next slide. Here we go. Shall I sing along with me? This is my father's world. Raise your hand high. Okay. How many do not know this song? Could you raise your hand? Bingo, I'm sick, chong, nigo, nigo, saugo. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Okay. <clears throat> this is my father's world. Ngoga ba? Oh, lo dao. Lo dao? Is that husband? Fu. Fu chan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Song day, nigga, say guy, right? Say guy, hey, song. You know, you know Chinese. <laughs> good, good. And what it says is that all nature sings. If you look at nature, and there's there's music in in the in the symmetry and the things that God has created. Okay, so that's what this song's about. If you look around, you will see God's handiwork, His creation. Okay, let's sing it again. Hey, Joy Yeti. Oh, no, no, no sense singing Chinese because I don't have the Chinese words. Here we go. This is my father's world. And to my listening ears, all nature sings and round me rings the music of the spheres. This is my father's world. I rest me in the thought. I 
just came back. I'm testing the light, guys. <laughs> I just got back from Israel, okay? And it's very deserty, a lot of rocks and hills and stuff like that. But in the middle of the desert, they have irrigated the desert, and they have all of a sudden, you know, it's brown and rocks and dry and dirty. Then all of a sudden, as my bus drove by, it's green. They have flowers blooming in the middle of the desert. They have palm trees. They got papaya, mango, passion fruit, uh, pineapple, apples, oranges, bananas, all kind of stuff. And God can do that, okay? Even if it's a dry desert or whatever happened, God can make it beautiful and fruitful and delicious, okay? So that's the idea here with the, with the song. One more time. Here we go. Ready? This is my father's world. and all of us and everything <clears throat> and he has uh, he has some guidelines for us okay we're gonna sing another song and I don't have a Bible but uh, he, g- he gave us a Bible and the kids know some of these Bible verses and the idea is that if you trust God and you obey God then he'll help you to bring joy and fullness in your life okay let's try the first verse on this one <clears throat> they'll be here we tell them we teach them to trust their choir directors okay when they tell them what to do and how to do it we teach them that if you do it the right way then everything will go wrong if you do things your own way then everybody's gonna do their own thing and it'll be a confusion okay so we teach them gently to trust in their choir directors and obey them and everything goes is that what happens at home Do you teach them to trust you, parents, uh, grandparents, and obey you, and then everything will will be good, okay? God's the same way, all right? He has certain things. Love your neighbor. Help your neighbor, okay? Uh, Honor your parents, things like that. And if we do these things, then we'll be blessed. We'll have good things happening to us, okay? So let's sing sing this again. Some of the people have never seen this song. So good, good try. One last word. Holiness. You know what that means? Holiness. Holy, that means godly. Okay. That means without sin. That means doing the good stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so the children are gonna sing they're gonna sing about holiness later on. So I just wanna Get you started on it, okay? Uh, Next slide, please. Okay. 
Very simple song. Here we go. Holiness, holiness is what I long for. Young people, one, okay. You want to come up and sing with me? Anybody know this song that want to sing with me? I'll give you a prize. <laughs> no volunteer. All, all, the, all the children are singing in there. No, thank you. Okay. <sighs> What's the name of our musical? Acorn to so one of these days the acorn is supposed to change, transform, get better, get big, bigger, get greener, get everything. Okay, you're not supposed to stay like an acorn. Okay, same thing with holiness. Okay, God wants us to be good, righteous, helpful, loving, caring people. Okay, fully developed, but we're not there yet. Okay. But if we have faith, like a little acorn, all right, you will grow. That's what we teach the children. Same thing for adults. Same thing for grandparents, aunties and uncles, okay? You start out right, and you water it, and you grow, and you, everything. Then you grow into something that what God really intended you to be, okay? He didn't, didn't intend you to stay, stay as an acorn, okay? Holiness is God's intention. <laughs> Next time you can sing with me, uh, take my, uh, what's that other song? Okay, the idea is to be more holy, to be more godly, to be less sinful, okay? All right, so we're going to sing the verse again, and we'll keep going on to the chorus. In just a moment, I'm going to um, uh, call, call for the choir, <laughs> invite them in. But before I do that, I want to um, uh, make uh, a few mention of a few rules just so that we're all on the same page. Uh, first of all, inside here, and I should have mentioned this to you in the beginning, uh, no cell phones, no, you know, if you, if you need to take a call, you might as well go outside, put it on silent, vibrate, whatever you want to call it. Please don't take a call in here. It would be very rude and disruptive to what's taking place. Uh, secondly, uh, we ask that you don't eat in here. I know that um, uh, everyone believes that they, they, they never make a mess, they never spill anything, they never drop any food. But whenever anybody eats in here, there's always some food spilled and some, 
some drinks that are spilled. So please uh, don't drink or eat inside here. If uh, you, you brought in some stuff, you can leave it outside on the, um, there's a rotunda, I don't know what you call it out there, but it's a, it's a counter there, <laughs> no one will mess with it, it'll be there when you come out, okay? And then finally, uh, the tech people have asked for no flash photography, okay? No flash photography, I guess there's a couple of reasons for that. Number one, it can kind of like, you know, it's like deer in the headlights for the kids, you know? You flash them and they don't know what they're doing and they don't know where they are and they forget and then everything goes bad and you say, you guys were terrible. And they say, well, it's because you flashed in their eyes, okay? So let's not do that, okay? And then I think also in terms of, we are recording this as well and all that stuff starts to kind of come in and, and, and um, mess up the, 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 final pr the final production there, or the final cut, if you will. So let's not do that either, okay? So uh, restrain yourself, flash photography, uh, adjust your camera so that there's no flash, then there's no problem, okay? Uh, with no more, nothing else to say, I'd like to welcome in the Cornerstone Children's Choir, doing eight points to eight.
Wait a minute, Onions. Hold on. Not so fast. We just wanted to get an early start today, Mr. McDonald. You know what they say. A farm's hands work is never done. We've only got one more week to get our harvest in. Well, I'm afraid you only got one more day. One day? What are you talking about, Mrs. McDonald? Well, I heard it on the radio a few minutes ago. They're still talking about it. Turn it on, Jeb. This is Twister Tech with a weather update. Our latest bulletin shows a cold front moving from the north, meeting the trade winds coming from the south, fed by precipitation from the east and perspiration from the west. And all that adds up to one big bad weather day tomorrow. So all the farmers in the Tri-County region are urged to get those crops in by sundown. And now back to our regular programming. Sorry, gang. Looks like we have a pretty big job ahead of us. Not to worry, Mr. McD. I've got something right over here I've been working on. It'll harvest those crops in no time. Not another crackpot invention. You know, Alfred, the last contraption you built was supposed to paint the barn. It ended up painting the cows instead. But this one really works. It's all tested and ready to go. Here it is, my latest invention. It slices, dices, and packs everything into a bale. It even ties a bow. <coughs> I caught us the XL Magnum Crop Terminator. Just watch. Okay, Alfred, one day your vengeance will really help a lot of people. I'm sure of it. Maybe one day, but not today. Mr. McDonald, we're wasting time. We don't need to depend on some machine. I don't need to depend on anything or anybody. I can do whatever needs to be done by myself. I stopped trying to do things on my own a long time ago, Meg. I don't know any co-worker more powerful than God. But how will we ever get our harvest complete in one day, even with God's help. It seems God has been able to accomplish many things in pretty short timetable. But well, Genesis tells us that in one day, he created day and night. In another, he created the sky and the seas. He even created his children in one day. But the job's so huge, and there's only a few of us. That's why you really need to depend on God. He can take something pretty small and do something enormous, like when a mustard seed becomes the biggest plant in the garden, or, or when a little acorn turns into a giant oak. Are all of you ready to grow like that? Yeah! yeah!
that's the kind of faith it takes to bring in the harvest. Where should we go first? Let's go out to the North 40. Those are the fields where I supervise the planting. All right, Meg. The North 40 it is. Do you know what bad news is she talking about, Meg? I don't know. That's Emma, my assistant. What's the bad news, Emma? The crops, Mr. McDonald, they wouldn't have died. We planted them several times, in fact, but they never took root. I was afraid of this. Did you find many rocks in the soil? Yes, and we too. And whenever we tried putting down new seeds, these big birds flew down and ate them up. This is exactly what happens when you don't cultivate the soil. Cultivate? What's that? Cultivate means preparing for planting, getting rid of anything that might be in way of seeds that are trying to grow. Did you cultivate the soil, Meg? No, we plowed. Who said anything about cultivating? As a matter of fact, someone had a lot to say. His name was Jesus. He knew about sowing and reaping to any farmer who ever lived. He told his friends a story once. I think it's something new to hear. And so they fell upon the road This made a lovely meal For one hungry crow A few grew on the rocks So quickly withered away Cause that's the longer route To last for more Do you understand now, Meg? Sure, I got some bad seeds, that's all. No, no, the seeds are all fine. In fact, they're incredible. The seeds are the word of God. And whoever reads it and applies it to her life will find the seeds fall in good soil. Now that's the only crop that will yield a harvest. What about the rocks, the weeds, and the birds? Can that tap into our soil here? I'm pretty certain the soil around here is pretty good, but you always have to be on guard. Rocks can roll, weeds can spread, and tricky birds can pop up just about anywhere. We're back! <laughs> Beware! Beware! 
Aztávam lista, čekis. Go ahead, make my day, go ahead, make my day, go ahead, make my day. Adam, right, Robin? Time to feed on some seeds. What do you say, like? I'm scratching and snatching, Maggie, but... Where, where is, is the seed? seed? Sorry, ladies, but this is good so soil. The seeds have already taken root and grown. You'll have to find some poor soil somewhere else. Well, let's fly this coop, right, Robin? I should say, what in hospitality? When you say, like, we'll never accept a lunch invitation here again, Maggie. <laughs> Woo, that was close. It's a good thing our crop is already planted. Not just planted, but of deep roots. If you hear God's word and don't respond, the seeds will just find the path and birds will come to eat them up. But if the message is received, the seeds will take root and yield fruit that's a hundredfold. Now that the birds are gone. Yeah, no thanks to Alfred. Make my day, make my day, make my day. You know what, Meg? What I appreciate about Alfred is that he keeps trying. Yeah, and he keeps failing. Stop it, Meg. You're just jealous because your crop didn't grow. I am not. I told you I got some bad seeds. Nothing was wrong with my soil. Except a bunch of weeds. See, they're all mixed in with the plants. Let me see those weeds, Emma. The weeds can't grow here, can they, Mr. McDonald? You can never be too sure, Kelly. Even when the roots go deep, Weeds can sprout up any time. Hey, you guys, have you ever heard the time when Alfred tried to invent an electric rooster? Have you heard the story about Alfred? And once weeds start to grow, it's almost impossible to get rid of them. 
And there was a time when Alfred was even crazier. Have you heard the story about Alfred? I'm Blabs. And I'm Squeal. And, and we're weeds, weeds with a real big bad really rotten rumor. Like, what are the dirt of you dug up around here? I tell you, Bobs, old MacDonald ain't gonna have this hang on much longer. Yeah, like no harvest, no bread, man. El finito. Bye bye, baby, bye bye. Signed, sealed, delivered. Ciao. Hasta la vista, we. <laughs> It sure took a lot of weed killer to science those two. Weeds are tough, especially when they've been allowed to grow for a long time. Hey, Alfred, I'm sorry I listened to those guys. I didn't really believe the stories they were telling everyone. It's okay, Emma. Man, we are never going to get this harvest done on time. We're chasing birds and killing weeds, and now the weather's starting to cloud up. Is the soil finally good enough? I'm afraid there's still one more problem left. I can see rocks and stones right where I'm standing. Rocks in this soil? It's as flat as can be. I don't see any rocks. Rocks come in many shapes and sizes, Meg. It can be found in a closed by and hardened heart. Nothing can grow that isn't open. <coughs> you know, this bad weather that's forcing our harvest more quickly can be looked at two different ways. On one hand, it's trouble. We didn't expect it and now we have to finish our harvest more quickly. On the other hand, it's a blessing. We didn't expect it, and now we'll have our harvest more quickly. Don't fight the rain, Meg. 
Nothing can grow that isn't open. would help me grow, Mr. McDonald, but I'm learning that I can't do everything on my own. We're going to have to work together, right? Oh well, yes, that is right. It's the way we were created. God knew we would try and fail on our own, but he loved us so much that he gave, he gave us another way back to him. That way is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way seeds of truth will stay planted, take root, and bear eternal fruit. That's not man's way, that's God's way. How can I make that my way? All you have to do is ask.
yours be done Father, not my will, but yours be done McDonald, you are right. Everything seems different now. It's sure a lot better than trying to do everything on your own. The Lord will be every step of the way, and so will all your brothers and sisters. That's awesome, but even with all of us working together, we're not going to get this harvest done. It's only a few minutes to sundown, and we have all those fields in front of us. Uh, I have something I've, I have been working on that I think will help. Will you go get them for me, Emma? Sure. Of course, they may not work, and you may have a, a better idea, Meg, so you don't have to use them if you don't want to. Alfred, I'm really sorry for all the times I made fun of you and your invention. I think I was just jealous because you were so smart. So I'd love to see what you've been working on. Yeah, just give us time to take cover. Here they are. Wow, what are those? Cardi is the super M multi drive turbo harvester. Batteries not included. How do they work? <coughs> well, as I look over those fields, I can tell they're ripe for harvest. So if you all help me pass the turbo harvester, we'll collect the biggest harvest we've ever had. And remember, this harvest is just the beginning. Jesus has called us all to spread the seeds of his love to every person in every land. Now that will be a harvest. The farmhands are ready, Mr. McDonald. They sure are, I declare. I've never seen so many acorns turn to oak so quickly. Give him the orders, Meg. Yes, sir, it's harvest time. <coughs>
Excellent job. You may be dismissed. Go ahead there. Let's give them a round of applause as they step off the stage. Good job, good job, you guys, good job. I had to make sure I dismissed.